this is a perilous time. We must go back to the original position of God. Where God has given us righteousness. Mercy of the Lord. That help us to sanctify ourselves. Sanctify our body. Sanctify our spirit. And sanctify our heart. When we stand to worship. The power of God comes down. And touches a worshiper. You don't need to touch people if you don't touch yourself. Any trap the devil has set up. Any snare that the devil has set up. So that you will not see heaven. So that you will not walk in righteousness. So that you will not touch heaven. That trap is being removed. And I announce to you that you shall escape it. I say you shall escape every trap. Every trap you shall escape. Hallelujah. Hey! Yeah. One, two, three, four! Jesus! Hallelujah! Peso makofi mazuri! Hallelujah! Twangia bwana makofi! Hallelujah! Pay your neighbor high five, Mambia. Your neighbor, I love you by force. I love you by force. Look at somebody and tell somebody, I love you by force. I love you by force. Whether the devil like it or not, I love you. Hey, hey, thank you so much. You may have your seat. Let's take your praise and worship team. Amen. Let's have our seat in the praises of God. If this come in our Zekana, on our Zakoketi. Kichwa kwa kichwa ya madui zako Weka madui zako kwa kichwa wakalie Madui zako si wanadamu ni mashetani Mapepo, machini ya mombasa Chau ina uganga Weka chini ya nyayoza Alafu na kalia Hata washukishe kutoka kwa kiti Waweke chene ya migu yako Wakalie Sema amen so today is another day. Kwa hivyo leo ni siku ingine. And it's a good day. Na ni siku njema. And the Lord has made. Na ya baba buwana hameifanya. And the Bible says we shall rejoice and be glad in the day. Na bibili na seme ya kwamba tutafraie na kuwa wenye shukurani kwa hiyo siku. And the devil can do nothing about it. Na shetani ya wezi fanya lulota kuhusu ilo. Can I hear amen? Jena neza sikia amina. So this morning. Kwa hivyo asubui ya leo. We welcome all of you. Tunakaribisha ni inyote. This is Kingdom Champion Ministries. Hii ni uduma ya Kingdom Champion. We are here to lift the name of the Lord on high. Tuko hapa kuinua jina labuwa na juu. And to praise his name. Na kusifu jina lake. And to experience the presence and the power of God. Na kupitia kuona uwepo wangufu za mungu. To see the transformation of our lives. Kuona kubadilisho kwa maisha yetu. So today is your day. Kwa hivyo leo ni siku yako. You must move out from this this place with your miracle. I say today is your day. You carry your package today. In the name of you who died and rose again. Can I hear somebody shout amen? So we have a very short time this day. Because we have this morning session. And then we have the main service coming. And then we have the, 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 the crusade We are going to climax today For the restoration and uh, blessing of the people of God 
baraka za watu wa Mungu. So in the name of Jesus. Kwa hivyo katika jina la Yesu. Without wasting time. Bila kupoteza muda. This morning we have a man of God. Asubuhi ya leo tuko na mtu wa Mungu. All the way from Nigeria. Moja kwa moja kutoka Nigeria. He is going to speak to us. Anaenda kuzungumza kwetu in 45 minutes. Kwa dakika 45 before we enter into different dimensions. Kabla tuingie katika mwelekeo mwingine. With the singer Rose Muhando. Na mwimbaji Rose Muhando. And Bishop Pastor Maina. Na askofu mchungaji Maina. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? How many of you are ready to receive? Wangapi wako tayari kupokea? Somebody shout hallelujah. Wangapi kile sema hallelujah. So I want you to stand on your feet. Hivyo nataka usome kwa miguu yako. I put your hand together. Na weka mikono yako pamoja. I bring on the altar man of God. Tuletee madhaba wao ni mtu wa Mungu. Pastor Franklin. Hatu mtumishi wa God the way from Nigeria. Moja kwa moja kutoka Nigeria. You are welcome. Umekaribishwa. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. But uh, let me ask. Lakini acha niulize. Is Karo in the house? Je, kuna Karo ndani ya nyumba? Lift your hand if you are here already. Ino mkono wako kama uko hapa tayari, Karo? She is not yet. Are you hapa tayari? Okay, my brother will continue to help him. Kwa hivyo ndugu yangu ataendelea kumsaidia. Because I know some of you you don't you have never stepped there. Kwa sababu ninajua wengine wenyewe hamjai kanyaga kule. And those of you that went there you have forgotten. Na wale ambao mlienda kule mmesahau. So the brother will help you. Kwa hivyo ndugu atawasaidia. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Mtu pia alisema hallelujah hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a shout! Can I have volume here? Jeneza kwa na sauti apa? Good morning, everyone. Abari za subi kila moja. Good morning, viewers online. Abari ya subi wale na nataza mitaoni. You're welcome for the first section this morning. Karibu ni katika ibada hii. Please join me as we celebrate our Father Apostle. Dr. Tayo and the wonderful wife. Tafadhali ni kujichunguana pamoja na mikumshirikia mtu mishi wa mungu mtu metayo. Papa, I'm not taking this section or this minute for granted. Thank you for the opportunity given to me to bless your children this morning. Baba, si chukui nafasi kimza na shukuru sana kwa inafasi ambao menipa kubariki watu wako watu mungu asubu ya leo. Psalm 84 verse 7. Zaburi themanina themanina ne saba. Quickly. Araka. Very fast. Araka sana. I read. Ntasoma. They go from strength to strength. Uendelea kutoka nguvu hata nguvu. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. Uonekana sayuni kila mmoja mbele za Mungu. Read it as it is there. A Biblia inasema, uendelea toka nguvu hata nguvu. Uonekana sayuni kila mmoja mbele za Mungu. You are going to pray. Tunaenda kuomba. Lord this morning. Bwana asubuhi ya leo. Have appeared in Zion. Nimekuja sayuni. Lord strengthen me. Bwana nitie nguvu. Listen. Skiliza. Every word that is going to proceed from my mouth this morning. Kila neno ambalo nenda kutoka kinywani mwangu asubuhi ya leo. It is designed. Imetengenezwa. To strengthen you. Kukutia wewe nguvu. For this divine assignment. Kwa hii kazi ya kiungu. Life is in progression. Maisha ni maende inendelea. Destiny is in progression. Atima hiko katika kuendelea. You are not in heaven yet. Aujefika mbinguni bado. So as long as you are not in heaven yet. Kwa hivyo madam bado aujefika mbinguni. You and I we are on we are undergoing a process. Wewe na mimi tuku katika yohali. So you need this strengthening of God to get to your journey end. You need the strengthening of the Lord to maintain, I mean, unwavering dedication and commitment to the kingdom assignment. Lord, I am here this morning. Strengthen me. I refuse to go back the same I came. Strengthen me, O Lord. I don't want to fall by the wayside. I don't want to fall by the wayside. I don't want to terminate my journey here. Lord, strengthen me this morning. Can somebody lift your voice and make that a prayer? Lift your voice and make a prayer. Is somebody praying? You are, not, you are not to look at anybody, you are to pray for yourself. Lord, strengthen me this morning. You are looking at somebody, pray for yourself. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Lord, strengthen me this morning. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, strengthen me. 
Zuzu Prenu Ushalu Karatela Pelozaze Atala. Thank you, Lord. Asante In Jesus' mighty name. Kwa jina kula Yesu. We are going to pray for the next one minute Tre in, in spirit. We are going to pray the next one minute. We are going to pray the next one minute in tongues. When you speak in tongues, when you pray in an unknown tongue, you are directly communicating with God. You are tapping into the fullness of God. When you speak in when you speak in tongues, you are activating the fire in you. You are going to pray in tongues. Come and lift your voice and begin to pray. Le rose que ta parada kanata kazunde paranto bele le zuzu iku prado sala grada preintong paro sala grade bele kanata kazukete be po sali parado si kala barada katuza e la rosa de la baraka tus ke pele kete pe pelendo suprate na roda su shele karadata e papa londo suprate na roda kurada le rosa la grade paradu zagade thank you father asante bwana in jesus name kwa jina la yesu you come. Jo. Yes. Take that microphone. You come. You come. When I say come, you walk very fast. There's no time for psychedelic <laughs> You walk in. Take microphone. You come. To be, to I thought you are here to concentrate to and get ready to receive. Oh, 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 oh. Together for the Lord Jesus you may be seated. Thank you. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Get ready for an encounter. You didn't do what I asked you to do. Say, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Get ready for an encounter. My names are Obogo Apostle Obogo Frank Moses. Frank Moses. Frank Moses. 
I'm a Nigerian. Toka Nigeria. But God sent me to Kenya to be of a blessing. Mungu alinituma Kenya niwe wa baraka. So I am a sent man. Hiyo basi mimi ni mtu ambaye nimetumwa. And every man the Lord sends. Mtu yote ya Bwana Mungu umtuma. The Lord backs him up. Mungu umtia ama umtia kwa maana yake. The Lord spirit. Mungu anatembea na roho yake. The Lord allows him to speak his word. Mungu anamruhusu anene neno lake. So this morning. Hiyo basi asubuhi ya leo. Let's go. Acha tuende. I want to speak on what I title while men slept. Ndaka kunena kuhusu kile wakati wanadamu ama wanadamu alikuwa melala. If you can write take up your writing material and write. Kama unaweza andika tu kitabu chako na kalamu yako ukaandike. Because it's going to help you. Manake itakuwa ya msaada kwako. What I want to talk in a little while. Kile ambacho nataka nene kwa muda mfupi. Is is a teaching for three days seminar. Ah ni mafunzo ya siku ya kongamano ya siku tatu. But I want to compact them under 40 minutes. Lakini nataka nikae pamoja kwa dakika zijazo 40. And see how far we can go. Ili kwamba tuletwe kapofika wapi? Matthew chapter 13. Mathayo sura ya 13. I said I'm speaking on the topic I titled why men slept. Wakati ambao wanadamu wakati wanadamu walikuwa melala. If there's a generation that needs God, it is this generation. Kama kuna kizazi ambaye inahitaji Mungu ni kizazi hiki. If there's a, a generation that needs a revival, it is this generation. Kama kuna kizazi inahitaji uvivuo ni huu. If there's a generation that need to be restored back to the kingdom, it is this generation. Kama kuna kizazi inahitaji kurejeshwa kwa ufalme wa Mungu ni huu. This generation is fast disappearing. Kizazi hiki kimepotea ama kinaendelea kupotea. This generation is fast backsliding. Kizazi hiki kinazidi kurudi nyuma. There is problem in the kingdom. Kuna shida katika ufalme. Chapter 13. Sura ni ya 13. Of Matthew. Mathayo. Verse number 24. Ah, mstari wa 24. I read Nasoma. Another parable put it forth unto them saying If I read you read Akawatolea mfano mwingine akisema The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field Ufalme wa mbinguni umefanana na mtu aliyepanda mbegu njema katika konde lake But while men slept Lakini watu walipolala His enemy came Akaja adui And so fierce Akapanda magugu Among the wheat Katikati ya ngano And went his way Akaenda zake What is parable Ah ufunuo ni nini Parable is a simple story. Mfano ama ni anadhiti mfupi. Illustrating. Ambaye inathibitisha ama inaeleza a moral a tabia or spiritual lesson. Ama tabia ya kiroho. Okay? Ndiyo. Jesus often taught with parables. Yesu alikuwa anafunza na mafumbo. Or he often taught by parables. Mara mingi alipenda kufunza na mafumbo. Jesus uses stories. Yesu alikuwa anatumia hadithi. In most of his teachings. Mara mingi ya mafunzo yake to convey a truth. Ili kwamba kutoa ama kufunua ukweli. Parables. Mafumbo a truth coded. Ni uh, ukweli ambayo imefichika. Simple story. Hadithi rahisi to illustrate. Kuthibitisha ama kuonyesha. Moral or spiritual lesson. Tabia fulani ya kiroho. So get ready. Hivyo basi kuwa tayari. Somebody says sleep. Mtu sema kulala. Jesus said. Yesu akasema. When men slept. Wakati mwanadamu alipolala. He said me came in. Adui akaja. So tars. Akapanda magugu. And go. Akaenda zake. Unmolested. Akapanda bila ku, bila kujua bila wewe kujufahamu wako. On harassed. Bila 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 ku, uh, kutewa ama bila kuharakishwa. On challenged. Bila kutiwa changamoto yoyote. Because the state of sleep. Kwa sababu hali ya kulala is a state of incapability. Ni hali ya kutokuwa na uwezo. The state of sleep. Hali ya kulala is the state of tiredness. Ni hali ya kuchoka. The state of sleep. Hali ya kulala is a state of rest. Ni hali ya kupumzika. Zika. The state of sleep. Hali ya kulala is the state of weak approach. Ni hali ya kukuwa dhaifu. The state of sleep. Hali ya usingizi ama kulala is the state of discontinuity. Ni hali ya kukata ama kuchoka kuendelea. The state of sleep. Hali ya usingizi ama kulala is the state of weariness. Ni hali ya ule kuchoka na kukuwa na udhaifu mwingi. When a man finds himself in such a state. Wakati mwanadamu anapojipata katika hali hiyo, you have altered progression. Ume umepoteza ama umekatisha kufanikiwa mbele you have interfered umekata in the progress katika ile hatima of destiny ya hatima yako 
listen to me nisikize in english definition katika ufafanuo wa kiingereza sleep simply means a recourse usingize na maana kwa kule kutulia where you take rest mali ambapo unapumzika slept last night wangapi wote walala usiku can i see your hand up acha nione kwa ishara ya mikono god bless you mungu wabariki while you were sleeping were you walking wakati ulikuwa unalala ulikuwa unatembea eh hapana Why you were sleeping were you counting money? Wakati ulikuwa unalala ulikuwa unahesabu pesa? What were you doing while you were sleeping? Ulikuwa unafanya nini wakati ulikuwa unalala? Absolutely nothing. Hakika hakuna kitu ulichokifanya. And why you are sleeping? Wakati ulikuwa unalala there are spiritual transactions. Kuna biashara ya kiroho ilikuwa inaendelea. Going on. Ilikuwa inaendelea. But I want to dwell. Lakini nataka nisimamie ama nikabila spiritual slumber ile kulala ya kiroho wa kiroho usingizi wa kiroho we have many kinds of sleep tuna aina mingi ya usingizi we have spiritual sleep tuna ile usingizi ya kiroho we have physical sleep kuna usingizi ya kiasili we have mental sleep na kuna ile ya kiakili we have environmental sleep kuna ile ya kimazingara we have financial sleep kuna ya kifedha we have ministerial sleep ya kuna ya hudumu we have marital sleep kuna ile ya kindoa At any point in time Katika aliflani ya maisha you switch over Ulilala to the sleep Ulipu, ulizubana ukalala Ulizubana ukalala to the sleep zone Na ukalala katika mazingara hayo You have sold your destiny Ukapanda hatima yako Remember Kumbuka Sleep means tired to be tired Usingizi ama kulala maanisha una una hali ile ya kuchoka na kupumzika So at any point in time Katika wakati wote wa maisha you are tired Unachoka in pursuing Katika kukabiliana vision Atima uh, ufunuo wako in pursuing the kingdom and the cause of Jesus Kwa kufuata uh, ufalme wa Mungu na mapenzi ya Mungu You have sold out Umeuza You have opened the door Umefungua mlango for the enemies Kwa ajili ya adui to come in Kuingia Hello Hello Remember Jesus said. Kumbuka Yesu akasema. When men sleep. Wakati mwanadamu alilala. Enemy comes in. Adui akaja. The soldiers and go away. Akapanda magugu na akaenda zake. If there is a generation that need to be awakened from slumber. Kama kuna kizazi inafaa iamshwe katika usingizi. It is this generation. Ni kizazi hiki. This generation is too tired. Kizazi hiki kimechoka sana. This generation is too relaxed. Kizazi hiki kimetulia sana. This generation is too sluggish. Kizazi hiki kimezembea sana. Things are not just happening the way it should. Haifanyi kitu jinsi inafaa iwe. I have often said to people. Nimesema mara mengi kwa watu. If you will not take responsibility for your life. Usipojichukulia ama usipochukua jukumu kwa ajili ya maisha yako. Nobody can take responsibility. Hakuna yeye atakayechukua jukumu kwa ajili yako. What you, what you didn't do what you will not do can never be done. Kile ambacho hukufanya hai wezi fanyika so if you don't do it ndio basi usipokifanya it remains undone inabaki kama haijafanyika let us consider the danger of sleep acha tuangalie hatari ya usingizi ama ya kulala the danger of sleep hatari ya usingizi ama hatari ya kulala you are a worker in the house wewe ni mfanyakazi kwenye nyumba you are a believer wewe ni muumini I have oft- now yesterday since on Friday Tangia Ijuma I saw boys and girls young men and women being too committed to the kingdom assignment Niliona vijana wasichana na wavulana wakiwa wamejitakakamua wamejitolea kwa ajili ya kazi ya ufalme If you are here and you came with a pastor Nathan Maina from Voi can I see your hand like Kama uko hapa na ukija na mchungaji Maina kutoka Voi inua mkono juu Can we please appreciate this Tafadhali tuwapigie makofi ndugu hawa Appreciate them Tuwapigie makofi My prayer for you guys Maombi yangu kwenu ndugu zangu May the Lord help you Bwana Mungu awasaidie not to fall into spiritual slumber. Ili kwamba msiangue katika usingizi wa kiroho. Not to be tired. Msichoke. Not to throw in the towel. Msiku msirushe vitabaibu. Because if you go to sleep. Manake mkilala you will lose. Mtapoteza. Mam. Mama. May God help you. Mungu akusaidie. Not to give up. Ili usichoke ama usikate tamaa. May God help this woman. Mungu asaidie mwanamke huyu. Not to give up. Asikate tamaa. If you go to sleep. Unapoenda kulala. You will forfeit all. Yote inashindika. I will talk to you later. Tuongee na wewe baadaye. 
I'm dwelling on spiritual slumber. Inakabiliana ama ninatilia mkazo usingizi wa kiroho. The things of the kingdom. Vitu vya ufalme. I was discussing with papa in the office. Nilikuwa naongea na papa kwenye ofisi. He said that last Sunday the brethren here you were well blessed because he dealt not come on. He dwelt on the temporality of here on earth. Ah Jumapili alikuwa anisimulia kwa Jumapili iliyopita ali watu walibarikiwa sana. Alisisitiza baraka ama maana ya kuishi hapa ulimwenguni. That whatever you have now is temporal. Kwa kile ambacho unacho hapa ni cha hapa ulimwenguni tu. He said that when you have a car you have only paid for your transportation fare for some for Alisema some. Alisema kama una gari umelipia tu nauli kwa wakati ambao utakuwa hapa ulimwenguni. What you have today will leave you one day and or it will leave you. Uh, kile ambacho unacho siku moja kitakuacha ama wewe utakiacha. I am here to strengthen somebody. Ndio basi niko asubuhi leo kutia mtu. I am here to awaken somebody this morning. Kwa kuamsha mtu asubuhi leo. It is not time to go to sleep. Kwa sio wakati wa kulala. It is time to do your best. Ni wakati wa kufanya mama kwa Mungu. It is time to go after the Lord. Ni wakati wa kumtafuta Mungu zaidi. Jesus said to the disciples. Yesu akasema kwa wanafunzi wake. Follow me. Nifuate. Follow me. Nifuate. And I will make you. Na nitawafanya. We, we have a lot of people in church today. Tuna watu wengi kanisani leo hii. They are physically present. Wanapatikana tu kwa kiasili. But they are spiritually asleep. Lakini kiroho wamelala. Nothing is working. Hakuna kile ambacho kinafanyika. Danger of sleep. Hatari ya kulala. First Samuel chapter 26. Samueli wa kwanza sura ni 26. 6 to 12. 6 to 12. Sita hadi 12. We are not, not going to read all. Atende kuisoma yote. First Samuel. Samueli wa kwanza 26 Are you there? Uko pale? First Samuel. Samueli wa kwanza 26. Sura na 26. Are you there? Uko pale? Let me just take one thing there. Then we we'll move on. 26. Whew. Thank you Holy Spirit. God is in this place. Bwana yuko mahali hapa. Verse 12. Let's just take verse 12. Tuchukue mstari wa 12. So David took the spear and the cruise of water from Saul's bolster and they got them away and no man saw it nor knew it neither awaked for they were all asleep because a deep sleep from the lord was falling upon them now number one thing number one danger of spiritual slumber atari ya kwanza ya usingizi ya kiroho you are completely disarmed by your enemies una unakosa silaha kiroho kabisa If you are slumbering spiritually. Unapolala katika kiroho. One danger of spiritual slumber. Hatari ya kwanza katika hatari ya kwanza ni kwamba is complete disarmament. Kwa hakika unakosa silaha vyote. You are completely empty. Unakuwa bure ama unakuwa tupu. We empty you. Adui anakutoa vyote. Disarm you. Anakutoa silaha zote. One danger Tari ya kwanza. That is why I have made up my mind. Ndio basi nimehakikisha nimesema kwa kwa kile zangu. No matter what happens. Kwa kwa hali yoyote ile. I will never back down. Sita uh, shuta chini. There's a song we used to sing in those days. Kuna wimbo tulikuwa tunaimba siku zile. Hey. A little volume. Sauti kidogo. A little volume. Goodbye world I'm no longer with you Goodbye pleasure of sin I'm no longer for you I have made up my mind to go God's way all the days of my life I have made up my mind to go God's way all the days of my life Goodbye world I'm no longer with you. Hi. Goodbye pleasure of sin. I'm no longer for you. I have made up my mind to go God's way all the days of my life. I have made up my mind to go God's way all the days of my life. Believers are stripped today. Waamini leo wametulia tu. The devil has emptied believers. Ah shetani amadui amewatoa amaweka tupu. And is emptying them. Na anazidi kuweka tupu. Because of spiritual slumber. Sababu ya usingizi wa kiroho. They are tired. Wamechoka. They say declining. Kuna ile kukataa. They have fallen into a state of not not working anymore. Wameingia katika ile hali ya kutofanya kazi tena. 
Christians are no longer doing Christians. Wa Kristo afanye maisha ama vitu vya Ukristo tena. The the the, the the, 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 the higher percentage of believers and Christians we have today are Christians that want to harvest where they have not labored. And you don't know it doesn't work that way. Number two, danger of spiritual sin. Death. Kifo. Death. Kifo. Genesis chapter 19. Mwanzo sura ya 19 verse 26 Read for me Death If you go to sleep Ukienda usingizini Death is knocking on your door Kifo kinabisha mlangoni pako Genesis 19 Mwanzo 19 verse 26 And it reads Glory be to God Tukufu kwa Mungu But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. They were on a process. The Lord gave instruction to Lot and his family. Get out of this environment. Lot was moving. Lot was in emotion. Lot was in the progress. But the wife stopped. And look back. She fell into a state of sleep. Because a state of sleep is a state of no progression. A state of sleep is a, a state of discontinuity. A state of sleep is a state of tiredness. A state of I'm no longer doing. So Lot, Lot and this family were moving. The wife said no. I'm not going further. And she looked back. She fell into a state that altered her control. She fell into a state that caught her life short. I prophesy to someone this morning. Your life will not be cut short. But spiritual slumber, when you fall into sleep, when you die yet for the Lord, you are no longer interested in the things of the Lord. Come on, the devil comes. Listen to me. Many are already dead. Papa, because they are tired of service. Now, three of you stand up. Are you foundation? Are you foundation members of your church? You, you started with the man of God. You didn't start. You came on. You came on. Ulikuja. Two of you are foundation members. God bless you. Mungu wabariki. Sit down. This is what I'm talking about. If they had fallen into spiritual slumber, they would have left that church. They would have left. They would have, they, they would have discontinued. But they are still going forward. Because destiny is a journey. Getting to heaven is a process. Nobody, nobody gets to heaven by chance. It is a spiritual responsibility conferred on your shoulder. I want to talk to the members of this church. And you that is joining us for the first time. If you know you want to serve the Lord. Make up your mind to serve the Lord. Did you hear me? Death is inevitable. When you fall asleep. When men sleep. When Christian stops being 
sin committed, the devil comes in and sow rubbish in their life. Wakati wa Kristo wanapokoma, reload their lives. Wakati wa Kristo wanapokoma kumtumikia Mungu ama kujitolea, adui anaingilia kati na anapanda mabaya katika maisha yao. When you fall into spiritual sleep, victory and destiny is terminated. Ushindi na hatima inaribiwa. First Kings, Ufalme wa kwanza, chapter 13, so, uh, 13, 18, 18 to 29. We are not reading. Atusomi. You just write it down. Joash was a king in Israel. Joash alikuwa mfalme Israel. Elisha was sick. Elisha alikuwa mgonjwa. He went to Elisha and said, "Come on, I want to overcome my enemies." Alisema alina kugambia, "Tazama nataka niwashinde maadui zangu." Elisha said, "Pick the sword." Elisha akamwambia, "Chukua hizo." Smite. Hivyo basi adunga. He smite once. Akadunga mara kwanza. He smite second. Akadunga mara ya pili. He smite the third. Akadunga mara tatu. And they stopped. Na akasimama. Elisha said, why did you stop? Elisha kisima, mbona umesimama? You should have continued. Ungeendelea. Then, Ivyo, you would have gotten victory ungepata ushindi. over the enemies. Zaidi ya washindi wako, ama unge washinda madui wako. But he smited three times. Lakini ya li, kuza li dunga maratatu tu peke. I am here to encourage someone. Yobasi niko wapa kutia mtu moyo. Who has smited for three times? Ule ambaye amedunga mara tatu. Three times will not get the victory. Tatu aikupi ushuda ama aikupi ushindi. Three years in the church cannot get you to heaven as long as. Miaka tatu katika kanisa haikupeleke binguni. Three years in the church is not enough for God to perfect what is what concerns you. Miaka tatu katika kanisa aitoshelezi mungu kuthibitisha makuwa kuasailisha. In order to announce you. Ili kuamba akutangaze. It takes a continuity. Ina chukua ile hali ya kuendelea. Consistency. Na ile kuzidi kuendelea. It's what gets the job done. Sio tu kufanya kazi mara moja na kumaliza. It is time. Ni wakati. To say no. Kusema hapana. To tiredness. Kwa kuchoka. To spiritual slumber. Kusingizi wa kiro. You see, listen. Tazama, skiza. You see this off and on thing people are doing in church. Nona ile video mwoto nafanya kanisani. Today you are in church. Leo kwa kanisani. Tomorrow you are off. Leo kesho auji. Tomorrow you are a worker. Kesho uhuni mfanya kazi. You are working with papa. Unafanya kazi na baba. Tomorrow you say I'm not doing again. Kesho yu nasema sifanyi tena. You live from, you go from one church to the other. Kwa kanisa moja hadi nyingine. Destiny can never be guaranteed by such spiritual indiscipline. Hatima yako haita weza kustahimilio katika hali kama hiyo. Continue with Kuendelea. Somebody say continue with it. Sama kuendelea. Say continue with it. Sama kuendelea. Touch your neighbor. Guza jirani yako. Say neighbor. Sama jirani. Continue. Kuendelea. Say neighbor. Sama jirani. Continue. Endelea. It's unfortunate people are not talking. You think I'm here to talk? Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Guza jirani yako. Sama jirani. Continue. Endelea. When we sleep, Tunapolala, there are spiritual manipulations. Kuna hali, ana, kuna mazingada kiroho ambaya naendelea. When a committed brother or sister, wakati uh, mtu, uh, kijana ama mtumishu wa mungu, anamambaya mejitolea, ame ayuko, stops being committed. Anaata kukujitolea. Do you know what happens? Najwa kile ambacho kinafanyika? There will be spiritual exchanges. Kutakuwa na kubadilisho kiroho. First Kings chapter 3 verse 20 we are not going Falme there. Wakwaza, tatu, shirina, but we are told of two women, two harlots who slept. Tunaambiwa kuhusu uh, oneko wawili, makaba wawili ambao walilala. And in the process of that state. Katika hiyo hali ya kulala, one of them overlaid the child. Mmoja wao akalalia mtoto. Before the other one woke up in the morning. Kabla mwingine aumuke, something had transpired. Am I right? Kulikuwa na kitu kisha tayari kimefanyika. Eh? The mother of the dead child Mama took, took the, 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 water, the living child of the other lady and there was a spiritual exchange. That is why it is dangerous to be outside the church. It is dangerous not to remain committed. Because once you go into sleep the, Jesus said it is impossible for you to come back when the, those who have once tested the powers of heaven. Once there's a discontinuity, 
Punde kuna kuto, kuna tolea kule kutoendelea. There will be manipulations. Kutokuwa na kushawishiwa. There will be manipulations. Kutokuwa na mabadiliko. When the church fall asleep. Wakati kanisa inapolala. They hinder, they hinder their own progress. Wanazuia ufanisi wao wenyewe. They hinder the growth of the ministry. Wanazuia ufanisi wa huduma. Did you hear that? Ulisikia hiyo? When the church wakati kanisa when members of the church washiriki wa kanisa when workers wafanyakazi those who are to, who are to partner with God's servant in his vision wale ambao wanafanya kazi na mchungaji ama mtumishi wa huduma hiyo when they stop being committed wanapoacha kukuwa wanapoacha kujitolea when they stop following wanapoacha kufuata they hinder their own progress wanazuia ufanisi wao wenyewe they hinder the growth of the ministry wanazuia ukuu ama kukuza kukuwa wafani wa huduma they limit the work of God. Wanaeka viwango kazi ya Mungu. They frustrate the effort of God's servants. Wanatesa kazi ya ngoma nguvu ya watumishi wa Mungu. They frustrate the vision. Wanatesa ile atima. They dwarf it and get it stranded. Wanayaribu na wanaifanya ikasimame. With nothing to show for. Bila na hakuna kitu ambacho kinasonga mbele. They open the door for the enemy. Wanafungua malango mapya kwa ajili ya adui. Making themselves vulnerable. Kufanya wao wenyewe kuwa tayari kushikwa. To attacks and destruction. Kwa mapigo na kuharibifu. This is the danger. Hii ni hatari. Of slumber. Ya usingizi. I got born again 19 1984. 1984 I am glad to let you know This is 1984 Till date Hadi leo I've never known spiritual slumber Sijai jua usingizi wa kiroho amina Never Hapana I've never fall back to the world Sijanguka hapo katika ulimwengu I've never at any given time broke broke my commitment to the kingdom service. Sijai vunja kujitolea kwao katika huduma. Very fast. Kwa haraka. What are the causes of spiritual slumber? Nini inaleta usingizi wa kiroho? What are the causes? Ni nini ama ni vitu vigani vipengele vipi ambavyo vinaleta usingizi wa kiroho? Why people of God stop being committed? Mbona watu wa Mungu wanaacha kujitolea? Number 1. Ya kwanza. Offense. Uh, kuto, kuto Offense. Kuto Matthew chapter 18. Kikwazo. Verse 7. Verse 7. Sorry. Matthew chapter 18. Matthew 18. Verse 7. Wasaba. <laughs> Somebody saw offense. Sema kikwazo. Papa. Many left this church as a result of offense. It's a shame. Ni aibu. Are you there Matthew 18? Uko pale Mathayo 18. This is one of the reasons. Ini moja wapo ya sababu. Why a lot of people are no are no longer committed in the things of God. Ambao watu wengi leo hii hawajitolea kwa kazi ya Mungu. Offense. Kukwazwa. Verse 7. Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must need be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense commit. Ole ni wa ulimwengu kwa sababu ya mambo ya kukosesha. Mana hayana budi kuja mambo ya kukosesha. Chapter 11 verse number 6. Kumina moja, sita. Quickly. Verse 6. And blessed is he who whosoever shall not be offended in me. Nae heri awae yote asie chukizu wa nami. Psalm 119 verse 165. Zaburi miyamoja kumina moja. They that love thy law. Wale amba wana mpenda buwana wao. They that love thy law. Wale amba wana mpenda buwana wao. Nothing shall offend them. Hakuna kitu kitakawe chukiza. They that love thy law. Wale ambao wanaompenda bwana wao. Shall offend them. Hakuna kitu kitakachowachukiza. Hello, look up. Hello, nitazame. Doctor sir, we are in a generation that people in church and workers they want to 
they won't always remain in the good book of people. Wakati kizazi ambao kanisani wanataka tu siku zote wabaki katika nafasi nzuri. Jesus said woe unto you. Yesu anasema ole wenu. If all men will speak well of you. Iko ikiwa watu watanena mema tu kwa ajili yenu. What is he saying? Yeye anasema nini? He saying to you. Anasema kwako that you should prepare for offenses. Kwa lazima ujiandae kwa ajili ya kuchukizwa. He saying to you. Anakuambia. Yo, come on. Prepare for the worst in me. Kujiandae kwa ajili ya mabaya zaidi. Because it will come. Sababu itakuja. But if it comes. Na kama itakuja, be careful. Kuwa mwangalifu. Don't leave do not leave your place of assignment. Usiche mali pako pa kazi. Your father in the Lord can be Baba yako katika Bwana Something happened to me some time ago. Kitu kilinifanyikia wakati siku moja. While I was still serving. Wakati nilikuwa bado natumikia. Then I was I was I was learning how to play the drum set. Nilikuwa najifunza jinsi ya kucheza drum set. One of the service days. Mmoja wapo ambao alikuwa anatumika siku hizo. My father in the Lord is a man who loves fast beating at times if you want to perform demonstration of power. Bwana wangu katika Mungu ni yeye anayependa kupiga ile mziki wa mbio. I was the one on the drums. Nilikuwa ambaye nilikuwa acheza drums. When he raised a fast song. Alipoinua alipoimba mbwa kwanza. I could not run in his pace. Singeingia katika speed yake. So when he turned back to look at who was on the drum. Alipogeuka akatazama nenda kwa pale kwenye drums. He discovered I was one there. Akataza akakuwa akaona ni mimi ndio niko pale. Papa. Baba. My father in the Lord behaved to me that day the world never seen. Babangu aliniangalia kwa njili kwa jinsi ambayo sijawahi mjua ama sijaijua. He turned to me like this. Aliniigeukea namna hii. And shouted at me. Na kanipigia kelele. Professor, what are you doing there? Get out of that place. Mosi sio fanya nini hapo? Toka hapo. Before the whole church. Mbele ya kanisa lote. My spirit went down. Roho yangu ikaenda chini. My light went off. Amwangazangu ikashusha ikashuka chini. I was walking like kuku. Nilikuwa nitembea kama kuku. I have been I have been disarmed and demoralized. Nilikuwa nimevunjwa moyo sana. I didn't say anything. Sikusema kitu. Some of the ministers they understood they, they came to console me. Wahudumu wengine walielewa kuja wakanitia moyo. After two days. Baada ya siku mbili. I went to my father. Nikaenda kwa baba yangu. I said papa I want to see you. Nikasema baba nataka kukuona. Humbly. Kwa kwa unyenyekevu. Not arrogantly. Remember I, I, I have been hot. Kumbuka nilikuwa nimekasirishwa ama nimekoseshwa amani. If you go to your father in the Lord or your mentor with the attitude of arrogance though you are hot you are going to be more hot. Ukienda kwa baba yako wa kiroho hata kama ulikuwa umechukizwa na umeenda na kiburi utachukizwa zaidi. I went to him humble myself. Nikaenda mbele yake kwake kama nimenyenyekea. I said papa I want to see you. Nikasema baba nataka kukuona. It's okay he said I should sit. Sema ah keti. I said papa you have wounded me. Nikasema baba umenichukiza umeniudhi. You have discouraged me never to play drums again. Baba umenishusha moyo kwamba nisicheze drums tena. You disgraced me on top. Baba uliniai bisha kwa watu My father and the Lord started laughing Mababu akiroho akaanza kucheka Now the laugh brought more embarrassment to me Kicheko kikanichukiza zaidi na ikanichusha moyo zaidi And I allow him to finish laughing Nikamruhusu amaanze kucheka When he finished laughing Alipomaliza kucheka He said to me Aliniambia Did you know what I've done to you my son Unajua kile ambacho nilikufanyia mwanangu I have just provoked you to learn how to play drums. Nimekutoa nimekufukufisha tu kwamba ujifunze zaidi kucheza drum set. Today can we provoke our members in such manner they will leave the church. Leo hii tuwafanyie washirika wetu namna hiyo wanawacha kanisa au tutawaona tena. They will say we. Tutasema we. Mimi. In that manner kwa tabia hiyo ama kwa tabia hiyo with all my commitment in this church kwa kujitolea yangu yote kwa kanisa hili with my tight na uh, ufungu langu and the devil will amplify it na shetani ataikuza ikuwe kubwa and make it as big as the whole likoni ya mungu na ifanye ikuwe kubwa kushinda hata likoni and while you are walking your head will be so big na unapotembea kichako kitakuwa kubwa zaidi and the devil will chase you out of your place of rest na adui atakutoa katika mali pako pa mapumziko the devil will drive you into 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 the ground where you become a vagabond 
adui atakutoa katika mazingira na kupeleka katika mazingira ambayo unakuwa mtu tupu tupu be careful of offense kuwa mwangalifu kwa hali ya uchukizo offense will come kuchukizo itakuja you know you sing well at, waimba vizuri at times somebody will come and tell you you are, you are just behaving are you the only one who can sing it mara nyingi unakwambia kwani wewe pendwa kuimba look at the way you are even doing tazama unavyo unavyofanya you are just doing pe 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 unafanya tu pe 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 don't mind them si wajali If you want to serve, serve. Kama ndio kutumikia Mungu, tumikia. As you are serving, get ready offense must come. Unapotumikia mchukizo kitakuja, kuwa tayari. Don't leave the church because of offense. Usiwache kanisa kwa ajili ya kuchukizwa. Don't stop being committed. Don't go to bed. Don't Usi, get tired. Come on, don't. Usichoke, usiwache kuja kanisa. Usichoke kabisa. Do not withdraw your service because someone offended. Usiache ibada yako ama kujitolea yako kwa sababu mtu alikuchukiza. We are human beings of what of imperfection. Sisi wote ni wanadamu ambao hatuko sawa. You think I'm your friend? Ndani ni rafiki yako? I'm not your friend. Mimi si rafiki yako. I can laugh with you now. Naweza cheka na wewe saizi. The next second you will collect. Sekunde inayopokuja unashangaa. You know what you know what it means to collect? You go collect. Do you know what it means to collect? Najua maana yake ni nini? I will rebuke you in the way you never expected. Na kukemea kwa njia ambayo hata wewe haukutarajia. Na you will be surprised. Ah, is, is it not a post friend that is just smiling? Kwani usi mtume uh, mtume Musa ambaye alikuwa anachaka na Yesu sasa hivi? Rubbish to smile. Na ribu ma. I will rubbish this smile. Ninafuta hiyo hiyo kutabasamu. But I want to wake you up. Lakini nataka nikuamshe. I told you this is a seminar for 3 days. Nikwambia hii ni kongamano kwa ajili ya siku tatu. I'm taking some so, things that can that has caused people today to go. I say have some 10 minutes. Kwa dakika 10 bado. Things that have caused men. Vitu ambavyo sababisha wanadamu. Laborers in the kingdom. Ambao wanafanya kazi kwa ufalme. To stand, to stop laboring. Kuacha kufanya kazi. Number 2. Ya pili. Delay kuchelewa Proverb 13 verse 12 Medhali 3:12 A hope deferred Mboma ambayo maribiwa Make the heart sick Atima ambayo maribiwa inafanya moyo kugonjeka People people have left this church and people are, you see people roaming this why because they say oh I've been going to church what I'm, what I'm asking from God I have not seen for Kile many years Kile ambacho ninaomba kwa Mungu sijawahi pata kwa miaka mingi Delay kuchelewa They, they, they were very committed people in church. Ulikuwa mtu wa kujitolea katika kanisani. You will see them in Kesha. Kesha. They will respond to the, to the callings of the father. Ukipigiwa akipigiwa simu na baba wa kiroho ana respond. Is, but because there is a delay to marriage, so delay ku, to conception, they have gone to sleep. Kuchelewa kupata mtoto ama kuchelewa kuolewa inawafanya wanakata tamaa. Are you the one? Wewe ni mmoja wao? Whatever the Lord is pointing out to you. Kile ambacho Mungu anazingatia kwa maisha yako. Get ready to change. Kwa tayari kubadilisha. Number three. La tatu. Persecution. Uh, kuvunjwa moyo. Somebody say persecution. Mtusema kuvunjwa moyo. Mark chapter 4 verse 17. Mariko 4:17. Luke chapter 6. Luka 6 verse 27. 27. We read it before. Tulishaisoma. Woe unto you. Ole wenu. When all men speak well of you. <laughs> Let me tell you. What if you know you are a worker in the church can I Kama unajua wewe ni mfanyakazi wa kanisa inua mkono juu. Good. You that is listening to me. Yeye ambaye unanisikiza. The Lord is preparing you to be committed in his kingdom. Bwana anakuandaa uwe kujitolea katika ufalme. Prepare yourself for persecution. Jiandae kwa ajili ya kuchukizwa. You must be persecuted. Lazima ushushwe moyo. Papa in our church in Nigeria. Kwa kanisa letu baba na kule Nigeria. Committed sisters. Ah wadada wale ambao wamejitolea sana. You will hear on committed sisters, on committed people in the church. Utasikia wale ambao wasiwa kujitolea. What's your name? Jina lako ni nani? Valentine. Do you know that Valentine is now apostle's wife? Unajua siku hizo Valentine amekuwa mke wa mtume? Everywhere everywhere apostle to go he's going. Kila mahali mtume anaenda anaenda na yeye. Every meeting apostle to go. Kila mtume kila mkutano huyo anaenda na yeye. Every time you see apostle you say Valentine. Wakati wote unapoona unaona Valentine kila mahali mtume yuko. Don't get your don't get offended because of. Usichukuze na usichukizwe na hali kama hiyo. You must be persecuted. Lazima uvunjie au uvunje maushushwe moyo. 
Let them call you names. Let them call you names. Let them call you names because you are too committed to Apostle Tayo. Let them, let, them, let them give you names. Let them tell you you have become, you have become church heel and church lean. Oh, praise God. This is how we got to where we are at today. I didn't arrive here overnight. Our father and mother did not arrive here overnight. We went through this process. Persecution. If I tell you what my eye have seen. We are not going there. Get ready. These are, these are things that make people to leave the church. They stop being faithful. Wrong company. Uh, uh, First Corinthians chapter, chapter 15, chapter 15 tano, verse 33 33 to 34. Then Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. Medali moja kumi. Write it that it will help you. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10 says, Medali moja kumi My son, Mwanangu, if sinners entice you, kama unyadami wada kuli, wada kuli, wada kuli, wada kuli, wada kuli pisha. Do not consent. Don't follow. Evil communication corrupts good manner. Choose, choose your friend in the church. Everyone cannot be your friend in the church. Look for a brother that is an encouragement to you. Look for soul. Look for a, a mind, a like, a like mind. We have seen people left the church because somebody talk, say something and they move them out of the church. I want to say this. Make a friend with someone who believes in the vision of your father. Make a friend of someone in the church who, who believes in the grace and the anointing of your father. Make a friend with someone partner with someone who believes the teaching of your father. It will be impossible for you to leave that church. Because iron sharpened iron. Because iron when someone bring the, brings a wrong story about your father, he says, Bros. 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 Leave that level. That is not what is on board. My father is my father. My father. There is nothing you can tell me that can move me. See, Papa, something happened in Nigeria. My father and the Lord had a, had a divorce issue. People began to leave the church. He lost 12 branches to that issue. I, Mimi, my twin brother, my brother, we stayed with him. And those that left came to tell us, are you not going to leave this church? This man has sinned against God. And I said to them, if he has sinned against God, let God judge him. But I will stay with him. You didn't hear me. You are busy looking at somebody coming to church. People left the church. My Papa, I stayed in the church. Myself, my family will remain. The end of the story was sweet. That was where I was ordained. That was where I wedded. If I go back to that church today, if I knock the door, the door is open for me. Because I believed in my father. I believed in his vision. I believed in his counsel. Nobody was able to talk me out of it. Who is 
is trying to talk you out of the church. Who is trying to weaken your hands? Who is trying to bring you to the state of slumber? Such a one is not qualified to be your friend. Just one. I have five minutes more. Benefit of benefit of continuity. Faida ya kuendelea. Benefit of being awake. Faida ya kuendelea kukua kukua wazi. Benefit of not being tired. Amano faida ya kutochoka. What are the benefits? Faida zake ni zipi? If I refuse to back out. Ikata kuchoka. Let me tell you. Wacha ni kuambie. If tomorrow God says to me. Wapokesho mungu akisema kuangu. Go and join a ministry. Enda ukaungana na uduma. And serve. Na ukatumikie. Where? I will serve like a madman. Nitatumikia kama mtu wa razimu. I am not a protocol breaker. Mimi si ule kuvunja kanuni ama kuvunja kanuni. I don't break protocol. Sivunji zile mada kubwa. Number one benefit. Faida ya kwanza. Of continuity. Ya kuendelea. Eternal reward. Maisha ya milele ama zawadi ya milele. Which is the ultimate. Ambaye ni ya kudumu. The kingdom. Ufalme. Heaven. Bingu. Luke chapter 22. Luka 22. 28 to 30. Jesus said to his disciples. Yesu akawaambia wanafunzi wake. Which have continued with me in my affliction. Wale ambao wanaendea na mimi katika mateso yangu. In my suffering. Katika mateso yangu. When I will sit on my throne. Ninapoketi katika ufalme wangu. You will also be there. Pia nyanyi mtakuwa pale. Let me tell you. Wacha nikuambie. Spiritual fathers know how to reward. Baba wa kiroho unajua jinsi ya kuzawadi mtu. A time is coming you see this man. Wakati unafika unaona huyo mtu. He's going to be giving cars to dedicated people. Atakuwa anapeana magari kwa wale wa shirika ambao wafanya kazi ambao wamejitolea. I see it happening. Ninaona ikifanyika. Not church goers, not church si wale, si wale wa shirika ukunja tu kanisani. Men who are following him hard. Wale ambao wanafanya kazi naye wanamfuata. Hard followers are rewarded. Wale ambao wanafanya kazi naye watatiwa au watu zawadiwa. There is a eternal reward. Kuna zawadi ya milele. For continuity. Kwa wale ambao wanazidi kuendelea. If you don't throw in the towel. Ukikataa kuchoka. Until, until I reach my home. Number two. La pili. There is spiritual growth. Kuna kukua kiroho. When you continue. Unapoendelea. John chapter 8. Yohana 8. 31 to 32. 31:32. If you continue in my word. Ukiendelea katika neno langu. That is if you remain constant. Kumaanisha kwa ukibaki kama umesimama. You will know the truth. Utajua ukweli. And the truth shall set you free. Na ukweli utakuweka huru. Why people are not growing spiritually today is because there is no consistency. So, leo hii sababu watu hawakui kuwa hakuna ile hali ya kuendelea. People church members no longer understand who their leader is. They don't understand their leader. Washiriki wa leo hawaelewi kiongozi wao ni nani tena. They don't understand their spiritual head. Hawaelewi usaidizi wa kiroho. How can you understand when you are not following? Je, utaelewa vipi na kama haufuati? We have shallow Christians all Tuna washiriki wa juju tu. Because of lack of continuity. Sasa kukosa kuendelea. They get tired. Wanapata kuchoka. Spiritual slumber. Wanaingia katika usingizi wa kiroho. No longer follow. How, how, how do you want to grow? Je, utakuwa vipi? When you are not there. Kama huko pale. One minute more. Dakika moja. Divine establishment. Kusaimiliwe wa kiungu. A manifestation. Na kujidhibiti kujidhihirisha. Isaiah 62. Isaya 62 6 to 7 Sita hadi na saba Number 5 La tano You provoke divine vengeance Una unashawishi baraka ya kiroho against your enemies Kinyume na adui yako You secure on common favor with God and men Unapata neema isiyo kawaida kwa wanadamu na Mungu Unseasoned daily blessings Unapata baraka isiyo koma You become a sign and a wonder Unakuwa mtu wa baraka ambao watenda kazi katika neema na baraka Divine settlement Unapata ile kutulia kiroho 
Stand to your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. This is a, a teaching seminar for three days. So I just rushed it. But I hope somebody has gotten something. Have you been blessed? How many of you want to be established? How many of you want God to, to settle him or her? You must continue. You must not go to bed. You must not sleep. Be a challenge to yourself. Did you hear me? Be a challenge to others. Let others are discouraged. Be an encouragement. When others are drawing back, push forward. Go forward. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Go forward. Say neighbor. Go forward. Say neighbor. You are going to pray. Say, oh Lord, my God. The grace Neema. to continue. Neema. The grace Neema. to press forward. Neema. The grace Neema. to move on. Neema. The grace Neema. not to be offended. Neema. The grace Neema. to run to the end. Lord, more grace. Neema. Lord, grace me. Neema. Open your mouth and begin to ask for that grace. Kuomba. Grace, Lord, grace. Open your mouth and say, Lord, and do me with grace. And do me with grace. And do me with grace. Lord, I ask for fresh grace for continuity. For continuity. To the glory of your death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise my coffee, Zaidi. Praise to my coffee, Zaidi. Hallelujah. Wangapi umebarikiwa hiyo kipindi? Asante kujitolea. Yaani hakuna kuslamba, hakuna kule kuzinzia. Hakuna kuchoka, mwambie jirani hakuna kuchoka. Wewe nitengenezea hii mic bwana. Hakuna kuchoka, hakuna kucho. Mwambie mtu hakuna kuchoka. Na hakuna kusinzia. Na hakuna kulegea. Na hakuna kuzembea. Mwambie mtu nimekataa. Nitaendelea mbele. Natoka kwa usingizi. Macho yangu yao wazi. Nitapata kuendelea. Tuangie Yesu mikono vizuri. Ainua hiyo mikono juu. Waimbaji. Wewe ni atonai. Wewe Mungu. Wewe ni atonai. Mungu wangu 